So hi everyone, welcome back to this video and in this video I would be giving you some information on the types of metadata. So there are two videos that I have taken before this. One was an introduction to what is metadata and I've given some examples and the second video is about, you know, um, the examples of metadata. So where you can view what are the advantages of metadata and how it's used for certain use cases. And this is the third video, so if you didn't get to see the first two videos, you can click on the link given in the description box and you can view those two videos, it will be helpful for you. So in this video, I will be talking about the types of metadata. So it's just simple. We have three types of metadata, which is descriptive metadata, structural and also administrative metadata. So without any delay, we'll go into the video. So I'm going to use, you know, examples from the first two videos. So it's easy to catch up. So that's why I recommend taking a look at those videos and then coming back to this video. So the first type of metadata is descriptive metadata. So by the name, it says descriptive attributes about an entity. So there is an entity and whatever descriptive attributes that exist, you can plug them up into descriptive metadata. So in the previous videos, we had seen examples about the different types of books. So here if you see for every book, there's a set of metadata. So this type of metadata that describes about the book, some details about the book, we can add them or we can classify them into descriptive metadata. So I hope that's very clear. It's very simple and by the name, it's clear to understand what is descriptive metadata. The second type of metadata is structural metadata which is data about the structure of the entities. So every entity will be structured in a certain manner. So if you've seen in the previous video where you got to organize data based on metadata, so these are the different structures. So this can be defined as structural metadata. So I showed you that, you know, based on this structure, how the books are arranged in this type of a format. So here you would be wondering, uh, yes, of course, this is the structure. But when you actually store it into a system, you would see that every, you know, here, every level, genre, author, publication, book, it will be stored in the form of a table depending on how normalized the system should be. So here, if you see, based on this structure, publication, you have Johnny's publication, this is one type of a publication, then you have the new work publication, within every publication, you have a genre, author and book. So here you can see how actually the tables are getting arranged over here. So you have a publication table, you have a genre, author and book table also. So information describing the structure of your data, okay, that can fall and that is categorized under structural metadata. So it's not only this structure, even within every table, the rows and columns, that also can act as structural metadata. So all this falls under this category. So I hope this is also clear. And the last type of metadata is administrative meta metadata. So this is the data th that is about the access permissions and data lineage and license. So now you have a particular data asset coming into the system or coming into your organization. Definitely there would have been a date it was created and there will be a lifetime for that data. Maybe it's available throughout the, uh, you know, at all time or there's a particular expiry date, especially you would see softwares with license. All this comes with a start and an end date. So that can be classified under administrative data and also, so it's data created, the expiry information and also you have the access privileges that also fall under administrative, administrative metadata. That's nothing but with who has access to this particular data asset who has edited the asset, all this type of administrative metadata um, information falls under the administrative metadata. So here if you see, I've given like, I've taken a asset, okay, this was from my system. So if you see the metadata in detail, this is when you click on in Mac, you have get info. So here you can view the information about that particular document. So this is nothing but the metadata. You don't get to see the data of the document, but you have a lot of information that gives you uh, more details about the document rather than the very 
content of the document so here you can see the you know tags added you have some general information about the kind of document the size where it's stored created modified date and then you have the other details of when it was opened and then you have the comments you have the preview of the document and also you have sharings and permissions so when you categorize this information all these general informations the preview the more info the general information here it gives you information which is descriptive which definitely is the descriptive metadata section and then you have where so where this particular asset is stored so you would see a path there or it can be you know a structure where the information is stored so that is structural metadata and here you have the sharings and permissions which is nothing but your administrative metadata so this is a overview on the different types of metadata and i've taken a file from the system and also showed how the different types of metadata are included in an asset so i hope this information is useful to you so if you liked this um, video please do give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do subscribe to this channel and also do share your feedbacks thank you